So guys, we're just a few weeks before labor and delivery. So I'm taking you guys with me today to one of my sonograms since y'all never came to it before. We are here. We're going up for the appointment. My appointment was for 2.30. I was supposed to be here at 2.15, 15 minutes earlier. <coughs> Are you excited to see your son? No, oh no, no, no. I am 36 weeks. And right now, he's in a weird position. So guys, I'm back home and I went to my sonogram and this ugly ass lady gonna tell me that I can't record. And then she gave me some whack ass sonogram pictures that I barely can even see him in. Like talking about it's hard to see them when they're bigger okay i understand that because my doctor told me that was gonna happen but besides that she gave me a whack-ass sonogram and she was just rushing me out and she was mad weird and i'm honestly about to call and report her because i don't like her that's why i just smiled and i just looked at her name tag because i'm about to call on her i don't like how she was moving and acting she got me tight and be besides that when i went to my appointment last time you can't record and you can't take out a camera or anything but the lady didn't say nothing to us, so it all depends on the doctor. She just wanted to be an extra asshole. I did not like her. Now that I'm thinking I'm really about to call and report her. Besides that, I am 36 weeks, like I told you guys, and my baby is 6.5 pounds. So, yeah. Four more weeks till I give birth. I look well side. Whatever. So, it is now one week and one day till my baby shower. And I went and got my shoes probably like a, a month or two months before. And I just tried them on. Me not knowing that my feet was going to get bigger, fatter. That's what I mean, fatter. And things was going to swell up. I really thought I was going to stay the same. Come to find out, it didn't. And now I have to go change my shoes and see if they have these same shoes that I got. Bigger or if I'm just going to have to exchange them for a whole different, complete, completely different shoe. So I'm going to show you the shoes that I originally got. And hopefully they have these shoes because these shoes are so fire. And these are the ones I wanted to wear for my baby shower. But if they don't, I'm going to have to exchange them for another shoe. But let me show you the shoes that I got. So I really didn't even know what brand shoes these was. But my sister knows everything new. So she told me to get this brand. And... I found the shoe and these are so pretty and since it's like has this plastic right here that makes it even harder to stretch or like to even be comfortable but these was the shoes and these are a size 38 and I'm originally a size 37 so I already went up a size so now I feel like I have to go up two sizes so I'm gonna have to get a 39 if they still have these right here which I'm hoping they do because these are so beautiful they're just so classy looking. I'm really looking forward to wearing them for my baby shower. So, uh, let's see. Taking them back. Let's see what happens. Hello, guys. It's the next day. And it is officially one week to my baby shower. And I just woke up, so I look crazy. But, yeah. Right now, we're heading to... Where are we going first? Oh, we're going to Brooklyn to where I got my baby shower dress made so that I can try it on. Make sure that it fits me because my stomach grows every week. So I just need to try it on to make sure that it's going to go up on me. And we're going to pick up Brash outfit from Prada. We was there yesterday and I wish I would have took my camera with me. But I just be so tired and so lazy. I don't even want to carry a camera. So yeah, he was supposed to get some other outfit that we seen yesterday. That didn't work out because they were saying that the shirt was on hold. It's already paid for it. This and that. So... He had to switch his whole outfit. So now he spoke to Lady in Prada. He found the outfit with her through text or whatever. So we're just going to go so he can try it on in person. Pick that up. And I'm going to go try my dress on today. Also, yesterday I got to switch my shoes. I didn't have to change the shoes that I had because luckily God is always on my side. And I just got to get them a size bigger. So I got them a size. What size did I get them? Size 39. That's freaking huge. That's the size my sister be wearing. Like I'm so confused. But yeah i got them a size 39 i'm just happy i got to keep my shoes that's all because i really wanted those shoes they so freaking fire it's gonna look perfect with what i'm wearing still got my morning voice on so i sound a little deep 
but <laughs> we're going to Prada now, guys. So I'm gonna say the camera with me today. Here, guys, time to go see my dress and try it on. I don't remember which way it was. It was this way, right? Here we are. Yes, this is mesh, so shut up. Brash keeps saying everything I do is mesh Spanish, he's a hater. <laughs> this is so nice. Yo, what you stupid? It's giving. Beautiful, wow. Yes. This is gonna look perfect. <laughs> I had to have some type of something out right here. <laughs> okay, guys. What do you mean who's gonna be holding the dress? It's gonna thing by itself. Yeah, you know that's somebody walking around holding it. When I first walk in, you can hold it. Uh, desire. The desire. <laughs> you better leave my little sister alone. <laughs> no. When I first walk in, you can hold it, and then after that, oops, my boobs. This gray, that this last gray that I sent you, I'm definitely not using it, but I'll just send it to you. Oh, no, you send it to my phone, I'll find it. Her phone. Go to it, babe. I ain't get it. This gray, that this last gray that I sent you, I'm definitely not using it, but I'll just send it to you. Oh, no, babe. You send it to my phone, I'll find it. Her phone. Go to it, babe. Hey guys, so we're in Brooklyn because this is where I go to get my stuff done. He has actually two locations, but I had to come to the Brooklyn location today. And now we're currently on the way to the city. So Brash can do his errands with his outfits. One more week to this baby shower. Are you excited? Yeah. Brash life. Brash like, call that party planner right now. She better make sure everything. <laughs> Yo, I know she's tired of us. It's a shirt I'm wearing is a large. Why, you trying to what? The medium. The medium. The medium looks like what? You tried on both of them? Yeah. Both could pass, but I think I like the with the large of the What size is that? I think this is the large. That one this looks that one look good too. We're done here. He got his outfit. Are you satisfied? Why? What the hell? <laughs> what did you want? I, I wanted the silk shit. Oh, they didn't get to see that, so they don't even know what you're talking about. It was another outfit he was supposed to get, but he had to settle for this because that outfit was sold. So sorry, sir. They made us try it on and everything for nothing, gassing us and shit to say that someone has it on hold and shit. Like, what the hell? We were trying to bribe them, but couldn't. It was like. That's okay. It was like similar to this over here, guys. Well, not similar. This is exactly what it was, but just in green. It was this green right here. And this was the outfit. He wanted this, but they didn't have his size. So, got to get what you got to get, honey. Sorry. He two slices in the Sprite, and he said I can't drink soda. He's such a hater. 
Yes, I can't drink soda. I didn't drink soda my whole pregnancy. Well, that was my first soda ever. I need a Sprite. I know people who don't even listen to that stuff, okay? Please, I'm gonna get mine. Okay guys, so guess what? Today is photo shoot day again. Yes, I know, everybody's tired of me, but I need to take as much pictures as I can. Like, I just want to. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to get my makeup done and head to a photo shoot. Maybe it's gonna be my last, maybe it's not. I just wanted to do one more after this, but I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna get lazy after my baby shower. So I'm gonna just do this one for now and see where it takes me, but yeah. Currently, about to get my makeup done. Okay, guys, I'm here at my photo shoot. About to get started. Let me give y'all a little inside look on what's going on here. Different sceneries. And I'm going to show y'all the one that I'm using. Okay guys, this is where I'm shooting my scenery. This is fine, I'm about to look so cute. Okay guys, so I'm back home now from my photo shoot. I went out to eat with my friend. I'm about to take my makeup off and get in the bed. Yeah. Okay, my peoples. Four days till the baby shower. And I left my camera home because we had a lot of things to do, but we got the liquor. We got the juice, everything for the baby shower, ready, and in mode. So, four days to the baby shower. All this liquor, and I won't get to have none. I can't believe we got all this liquor for, for the peoples. Like, what? I'm not even going to get to enjoy none of this. There better be some bottles left over. Maybe, maybe not, because... The girls drink like fishes, so yeah. But here we have it. That's what we do today. So yeah, four days to the baby shower. We have literally everything done. That's it, everything is out the way. Everything is out the way. There's nothing else to do. We got everything already, so that's good. And all the stress is out the way. I'm just still stressing because I still have to push a baby out. And yeah, that's what's on my mind. So yeah. So I went to the doctor today and they checked me to see if I was dilating. I'm not, which is good so that I can have time to go to the baby shower. Cause I'll be damned if I was and then I couldn't go to my baby shower. So, so far everything is going good. Baby shower, four days away. So the brightness is really bright right now and I don't mind anyway because I have a pimple on my chin and I don't want y'all looking at my pimple on my chin. <laughs> I don't know where the hell it come from but whatever. Okay so they said it comes from stress. I don't know why. I'm not even stressed. I'm just more overwhelmed. Uh, I'm about to head to my mom's house now and drop off these outfits for my siblings that I got for them to wear for the baby shower. I'm going to show y'all really quick. Because I really haven't been vlogging as much how I thought I was going to. But I'm trying to make sure this video is a a good length for y'all. A little long. Give y'all something to watch. So, yeah. I had ordered these outfits for my siblings from Farfetch. Let me show y'all. Let me put the brightness down for this. Okay. So, my baby sister Desire. I know the little chunky one. I got her this Marnie dress to wear. It's cute. I gotta go get her some stockings 
and some white ups to go with this. And then here for my little brother Jonathan, he's like three or four. I really don't know these kids' age because there's so many of them. I got him these little Marnie sweats. I don't know if I showed y'all this, but I got these sweats for my baby also. I seen they had it for my little brother. I was like, oh, let me get it for him too. With this shirt. So cute for him to wear with his 12s. These sneakers that I have on my feet. I can't lift my feet up right now because my feet hurt so bad. But yeah, so I'm currently about to head to my mother's house. Drop these outfits off so these kids can try these outfits on. Make sure it fits them. And then figure out what I'm going to eat because I've been outside all day. Today we got a lot done. We got a lot done today, so I'm happy. Like We have to do a couple of things. I had to go and get my watch resized. It's a little more comfortable now because all this water weight and my fingers are swollen. My feet is swollen. My wrist got bigger. Both of my watches don't fit me, so I had to get this one resized and put some of the links back on to it. I had to add two more links because... It was so tight, it was leaving a print on my wrist and I just couldn't breathe. So it's a little looser now. We have to go to the Diamond District for that. We did that. We got the liquor. We got a lot done today. So I'm happy. Things is getting knocked down little by little. Well, everything is done. Everything is done. Now, just about to head to my mother's house. And yeah, what is this bag right here? Hello guys, I look a hot mess, like I just look a hot mess, my hair is not done, getting my hair done tomorrow, and it is currently one day till my baby shower, look at my neck, my neck is getting black, this is some real pregnancy shit, this is crazy, but I have even more crazier stuff to tell y'all, huh. let me just break it down. So last night I was in the hospital because I woke up feeling like I had a headache and a like dry scratchy throat and it was not going away and I thought it was because I sleep with my AC on and I washed my hair and I sleep with the AC on so I thought that's what it was. Come to find out when I get to the hospital they're like oh you have a small fever. It's just it's a fever, it's just very low. But we're still gonna test you for COVID and whatever the case, and the flu, cause there's a flu going around. Results come back and I am tested positive for COVID. I start crying, bursting out crying in the hospital, knowing damn well my baby shower is tomorrow, one day away. I was just very devastated. I'm feeling like a little better now because they told me that I must have been had it and I didn't know and now that I'm coming to the hospital and they tested me for it it's still coming up like they can still detect it but since last week I did have a scratchy dry throat and stuffy nose like more than I usually have like I know y'all be seeing like basically my whole pregnancy like my nose was bothering me and I'd be talking about it I'd be like yeah my nose is bothering me. my nose is bothering me like my nose been bothering me my whole pregnancy but no it's because I had COVID the whole last week and I didn't know. I didn't know at all. I think it's just because I go out to eat a lot to restaurants. I don't know what could have made me catch it again because I had it before. But definitely tested positive for COVID. Nose is still a little stuffy right now. But yeah, so I tested positive for COVID. I was just crying in the hospital. I was so devastated. I was so mad because they gave me IV and they gave me Tylenol the IV and I was feeling like so much better so I'm like it can't be nothing like serious if I'm feeling good already I'm ready to go like I feel good again like they were saying I was dehydrated things like that because I really wasn't having the appetite that whole day yesterday so I really wasn't drinking water I barely was having anything to eat and I've been a fat ass my whole pregnancy so yeah it just was like crazy to me but uh they told me I tested positive for COVID and I, I gave them back the dates like when I did start feeling like a dry little throat and things like that and they calculated it and they said that I'm on the last I should be like on the last days of it basically because I've been had it and I didn't know I had it and I didn't get tested for it so I wouldn't have known I had it but 
I think what triggered it was me washing my hair and going to sleep with the AC on and then sleeping like with my mouth open and the cold air hitting my throat. It made it feel like even crazier. And then when I got to the hospital, uh, I wasn't even gonna go to the hospital. That's the thing. My um, my um, fiance literally forced me to go because I was not gonna go to the hospital. I'm like, this is just something light. Like I'll get over it. It's probably like a small, or maybe it's just for today, or maybe it's something with pregnancy. Because I feel like this thing with pregnancy. It be making me feel mad different things. So I'll be thinking like everything is a part of pregnancy. But no, I was here freaking with COVID. And now I am one day away from my baby shower. My baby shower is tomorrow. And in the hospital yesterday, they gave me a medicine that they give people now for COVID. So I took that medicine because at this point, I just, I just don't want that in my body. So I'm like, yeah, give me that. Give me what you have for it. Like whatever the case is because... And then after they gave me the IV and the Tylenol, I really was feeling 100% better. But when they told me they have a medicine to offer, I'm like, okay, I'll take the medicine too. Because at this point, I need all of this to go away because my baby shower is tomorrow. Like, like, this is crazy. So that's what happened last night. I was in the hospital all night till 4 in the morning. Taking IV, taking Tylenol, taking the medicine that they gave me for the COVID. And I feel like today I'm feeling way better like i don't feel how i felt when i woke up yesterday i felt sick but i look back at my pictures because i go outside like every day out to eat because it just makes my pregnancy go by faster and don't do that because covid is still very real and it's still out here but that's what i have been doing and i been had it and i didn't know i had it and they called me today and they said from the looks of the dates that i gave them today should have been my last day to quarantine but if i'm feeling fever don't go outside for the next two three days but i'm not feeling fever i'm feeling fine i just still have a little stuffy nose or whatever but i had this my whole pregnancy so it's like it's it was really confusing for me but yeah as of right now i feel really good like i don't feel like nothing i feel fine compared to yesterday what i was feeling and they said basically like if I feel like I have any fever don't go outside but I don't have any fever I warned all my friends and my close family members and I let everybody know like they said I'm testing positive for COVID and I didn't know because I honestly didn't have no symptoms at all and I had COVID before and when I had it I was so bad so I would not think it's COVID because last time I had it I had all the symptoms and I lost my taste my smell I lost everything I knew it was COVID like off of the basic symptoms that I had. This time, I didn't think it was nothing. I just thought it was something that was a part of pregnancy and that's it. But this whole time, yes, I had COVID. They called me today and they said that today should have been my last day to quarantine, so. But if I'm feeling fever still, don't go outside or whatever the case is, but like, I don't feel anything. And I just feel really bad because my fiance paid a lot of money for this baby shower. Um, this is the second time we rescheduled actually because we rescheduled before, we had to pay a fee to the venue to reschedule and it's like uh, i just didn't feel like doing all this again i don't feel sick at all like i wouldn't have even have known that i had covid but i did warn everybody and let everybody know like i'm testing positive for it so everybody come still if you want to wear your mask i'll be wearing mine just to be on the safe side don't be so close to me but yeah that's what's been going on and that's just this is just crazy like i just can't believe like why me like why me it's my first baby shower ever everything like why this COVID shit has to hit me i don't understand it's crazy but i honestly wouldn't have known that i was testing positive for COVID or even had it if i wouldn't have went to the doctor good thing i did go though because i wouldn't have been as cautious as i'm about to be now tomorrow around like my family and my friends but i let everybody know everybody's still willing to come so that's love i'm happy for that and yeah that's just what's going on right now I'm so annoyed. I'm so happy like these last weeks are finishing because uh, fast forward two weeks from now, I'll just be giving birth and won't have no COVID in my system and won't have to stress about a baby shower and everything will just be over with and done. Like all I have to do is just focus on the baby now. This shit is crazy. So that's what's going on right now i was going like i've been meaning to record every single day down till the baby shower but yesterday i was feeling so crazy yesterday was three days away today is one day away because it was yesterday what is today today is thursday yesterday was wednesday so it was three days away no it was two days away yesterday was it friday yeah 
So I was trying to record all the days down or whatever the case is un up until like, you know, the baby shower was here, but I was feeling really like sick yesterday when I went to the hospital. Once they put me on the IV and they put me on the Tylenol, I'm like, okay, maybe it is a little fever because I'm feeling good now. Like I'm ready to rock and roll. Like I'm ready to go. Like get me out of this hospital bed and let me leave now. But nope, they did the testing and that came back positive and that just brought my panics all back again. And I started thinking like, damn, this is crazy. My baby shower. I don't want to be around people with COVID. What am I going to do? But I don't feel as bad. And I am happy that I did have it a week before and I didn't know. So that now they said since I had COVID before and I had the worst one in the beginning, this time it won't be as severe as it was. And they also can tell you which COVID you have. And they, this one that I have now, they said that it's not as bad as how I had it before. So at this point, since I'm on my last days, like getting out of quarantine now, that it won't be as contagious just to wear a mask and I can still go to my baby shower and attend it or whatever case is just warn other people to wear their masks too, just for safety. So I was like, okay, that's fine. It just made me feel better for that because other than that, I was panicking. I have a lot of friends who came out here flying from Miami, Atlanta, North Carolina, like so many different places just to come to this baby shower. I could not like reschedule it again for the second time. I couldn't do it. So I have to keep going with it. I am 100% happy that I am feeling good right now. And yeah, I'm mad because yesterday was the day I was supposed to go get my nails and my feet done. And I didn't even get to do that because I was feeling so sick. I had to go to the hospital. And then today I just wanted to rest to make sure that I'm good for tomorrow. But I did go to the nail salon today and I got my feet done only. But I didn't feel like sitting there to do my tip on my, my little tips because I was going to do tips on my nails in the nail salon. But it was just so many people there. I just didn't want to wait. So I just did my feet and I left and I just got some press on to put on because I don't really want nails on my fingers right now. Anyways, they're so annoying. So, yeah. Hey guys, as of right now, that's what's going on. One day to the baby shower, which is tomorrow. It is a lot of tragic things going on. I'm so annoyed, but I'm ready to go to my baby shower. Like, and I'm happy. If I was feeling really, really sick, like, like really sick, how I was feeling yesterday. Yesterday, my my throat was like bothering me, and it, I didn't have a sore throat. It was just like very cracky and dry. And when I drink, it just bothers me. Like. If I was feeling like that today, I was definitely rescheduling it for for a third time. But um, I feel good, so it's like I'm gonna continue with my baby shower and just warn everybody that I that I ha was testing positive for COVID. They're willing to still come. They come wear their face mask. I'll be wearing mine. Other than that, I have to attend my baby shower. So COVID's not gonna stop the show, but it is very much real out here, and it's still out here. So yeah, guys. Don't sleep on it because I don't know how the hell I got this shit again. I'm so mad. Like, I'm just happy it's not as severe as the first one that I had. Like, when I lost my taste, my smell, and I couldn't even move for days. Like, my body was aching. My body was sore. I don't feel any of that now. So, that's why I'm happy because it's like, this how I know this is like some shit that I had like since last week and it was small and I didn't even fucking notice that I had it because if I did know, then. I would have been went to the hospital, but I was feeling so normal. I didn't have no symptoms at all. I didn't. I wouldn't have never expected that I had no damn COVID. So yeah, but I'm just happy that I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna continue with my baby shower, and it is tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow I get my hair done. I have to wake up early, get my hair done, and get my makeup done in the afternoon, and then I'll be getting ready. So I'll be vlogging all day tomorrow. As of right now, today is the day that I just have to let y'all know what was going on yesterday. And why I wasn't recording and just leading you up to these days one by one. But yeah, we'll see. It's officially the day of the baby shower. Mm -hmm. I just got home from getting my hair done. I have to touch it up a little more because it's my natural hair and I got caught in the rain. And I don't know why would it be raining on my special day. This is crazy. Like why? Like it's a lot going on right now so we are getting ready to take all of this to the venue so that they can set all this stuff up here this is a lot we're already running a little late because traffic is so crazy out right now it is Friday but, 
yeah. At least things are still getting done. So today is honestly a whole lot going on. Like, my little brother is in the hospital because he dislocated his shoulder in school. I have to fix all this and redo this. But can you see my hair, guys? So cute. Can you see here? So cute. But yeah, so my little brother's in the hospital right now. He dislocated his shoulder. My mother been there since like 1 o'clock. The school called my mother and said that he was playing football and he tripped on something and fell on his arm trying to catch the ball. So his arm is dislocated. He's in the hospital right now. Had to do an x-ray, had to get anesthesia, get numbed up and put his arm back in place. <sighs> that happened to me mad times before, like five, six times, like both of my arms like got dislocated. So I'll be used to that shit. Even though that is very painful, I, I be used to it still. But he's not used to it. Something that he's not used to. And he's definitely in pain right now. He's saying he didn't even want to come to my baby shower. Like, what the hell? It's just so much going on. Like, and I need my little brother there because he be turning up and he be dancing. So, I'm just mad that now he's not going to be able to do any of that. On top of that, a lot of my family members is already not coming. Like, my family members from my mother's side, they are fucking canceled. Like, they are so canceled. Like, everybody over there is canceled. Mad at my aunt, my grandmother, like... It's just a lot of weird stuff going on. I honestly don't even care. I'm not stressing myself out no more for nobody. I don't care who doesn't come anymore because at the end of the day, when they're going to want to reach out to me and no one's answering them, I am not going to be the one they can contact anymore. So I really don't care. And yeah, just a lot of bullshit going on. But I was really hoping for my baby shower to be like a real f family and friends thing, close friends thing. Now it's just looking like a friends event because that's mainly who's going to be there. Only family that's going to be there is my sister, my mom, and my dad. Like, and my cousins. My aunt, my grandmother, none of them's going to even be there. Like, they just so fucking weird. It's just ridiculous at this point. I don't even care. I'm actually happy that they're being weird because it just gives me a reason to be weird back to them. Because I'm always the one answering them and shit. So now I have a reason to ignore them for the rest of my life. This is my baby shower. It's my first baby shower. And yeah, them not coming for me. It's just me having an excuse literally to never deal with them ever again in life. So I really don't care. And this was even before I announced that I had tested positive for COVID. They was already saying they wasn't coming. Like, it's just so weird. This family is so freaking weird. I'm so happy my sister started her own little family. I'm starting my own little family because my mother's generation is out. We're starting our own generation because they suck dead ass. They're cut off to me. Like forever okay guys so my baby shower started at seven it is eight o'clock <laughs> i'm getting my makeup done now and yeah i'll be done soon and then i have to just head there my little brother's shoulder is back in place and he's going home with my mother right now to get ready so we'll see how this works and that is brash working in the door right there my makeup artist is here it's time to do this face guys so brb
Yeah, I'm dead. It is 2.55 in the morning. It don't even feel like it. Probably because I'm not drunk and stuff like everyone else. So I just feel like sober. Oh, you say you don't this is like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, guys. Wow. I'm really happy and grateful for all this stuff. But I low-key want to kill everybody because what the hell? Now I got to put all this stuff away. This is crazy. So my vlog didn't go 100% how I planned it, but at least I still got some footage, right? And yeah. It was just really overwhelming. I thought things wasn't gonna go how I planned it, but they 100% did go how I planned it. Like the baby shower went 100% how I planned it. Other than that, the recording did it, but it's it's okay, cause I still did good enough, I think. The day after, he's tired. <laughs> I'm doing his corny dance move. <laughs> I just hope that we don't end up like Adam and Eve. Yeah. And if you give me 